Hi, my name is Candy Johnson. That is me. And this is also me with a bunch of different makeup tutorials. But today I'm putting makeup on somebody else. Make sure you go every day. You can see what I've typed for you guys at candyj.com. And for the love of candy, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Hi everybody, we're here with my beautiful model, Shauna, which you will see with no makeup on in a minute, but she was already beautiful without makeup at all, but we're gonna show you a fun kind of prom look, and it's kind of, kind of pin-up, princessy, modern. And I'm also gonna show you how to do this French glitter manicure on her nails. And then we will also show you how to do her hair too, which we added. We did it without pink, and then we did it with the pink, but I kind of think I like the with the pink more. So we will show you how to recreate this. Okay, so first we put the Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream all over as a base, and then we're just going to put, this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Long Name Foundation <laughs> in shell base. So we're just gonna put this on all over. Oh, is it cold? It feels good. Does it feel like a face treatment? Yeah. Okay, so now we have the foundation all over. We're just gonna put a little bit of the Sonia Kasha Quad Concealer in Hidden Agenda and our sponge. And we're just gonna go over the main areas, the lower eyelid, underneath the eye. just going to do a little bit of contouring around the face and it's going to look crazy and you would not wear this I mean you could do this every day but we're just going to do a little extra just because it's a more fancy and then you always want to do the neck too because you want it all to blend in especially if you're wearing a strapless or any kind of anytime you want it to kind of blend on your neck anyway is your dress strapless? Mm -hmm. no is it like a halter one? it's like up and then it kind of like clips in the back like an X. You know? Oh cool. It has like kind of a brush back sort of Oh kind of nice. Yeah. So it won't be like falling off. Yeah. Or Nothing annoying like annoying straps or halter ones. I have to, I got one of those sticky bra things. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Are they so I weird? I haven't like, put it on yet but it is so sticky. It I, feels gross I, huh? I poked it and I and like, like, couldn't even get it off. I was like get back in the container. <laughs> like. And then they're like sweaty too. Like if you're wearing them and then like you're dancing, it's gonna feel like Is it gonna like so slide off? Oh no, it oh, will stay okay. in place. But it will feel so gross. I feel You'll like, like this gross. is disgusting. Like so then we're just gonna take some, this is actually loose foundation, but I'm just gonna use it as a setting powder. This is a MAC Mineralize, and look up for me. And I'm just gonna go over the areas that will kind of be a little shiny, which is like the eyelids. I want the rest of her face to look a little more dewy even though this is like a lot of makeup. This will just set the foundation so it doesn't flip off. Look at me. Especially if you're going to prom and you're going to be dancing and sweating and you know. Everything you have to do feels like extra. I want deodorant and bath and I can it. No. <laughs> like what's in your purse? Just deodorant and maybe and even like tissues for yeah. my armpits. <laughs> Okay, so now she looks really fancy with one <laughs> eye done. <laughs> but we're gonna show you on this side what we're gonna do. And the first thing that we're gonna do, and you can start off with different different options, is you can either take just a concealer pencil and what it doesn't matter, just a light color, and put that all over the lower lid and act like kind of like a paint pot, which is what we're gonna do. Um, but I'm gonna be using this paint pot and it's a new one from MAC. It's called Let's Skate. It's kind of a pink frosty color. So we're just gonna take our brush and we're just going to apply this all over the lower lid, and then we're just gonna kind of blend it on upwards but the majority of it is gonna be right on the lower lid. Then you can work it up towards the problem. Or you can just use a concealer again if you don't have a pinkish looking paint pot. Okay, then we're gonna take any light golden shimmery frost color. This is Ice Lost Tape from L'Oreal. And we're just going to press this down onto the inner corner of the eye right here and probably halfway onto the eyelid. And then you kinda of wanna go right here right in the inner corner, right in front of the little tear duct. And this is gonna give a really pretty open-eyed kind of look. And we'll even take a little bit and put it right underneath the eyebrow. Okay, so now we're just gonna take, these are my two favorite colors from MAC. This is Naked Lunch, which is like a nude shimmer, and then Brulee, which is kind of a matte nude color. And we're just going to take the Naked Lunch, any nude shimmery color will work, you don't have to use these same colors. But I'm just gonna blend this on from the middle part of the eye to the outer corner of the eye. And kind of up right here 
above the crease of the eye, right up. Then I'm going to take the matte color, and you could even use like a face powder, and I'm going to use that to kind of knock down some of the shimmer and just blend that up until right underneath the eyebrow area. Okay, now because she has really pretty blue eyes, um, pinks or golds or any of those colors will kind of bring that out. So I'm going to put a little bit of this pink shadow. You can use whatever will work, even a blush. This is Heartache from Two Cosmetics. And I'm going to take a little bit of the matte pink and I'm going to apply it right on the, just the outer edge. It's going to give like a little hint of a glow. I'm going to take this frosty pink and kind of just blend this along the lash line just up. It's just going to give a little hint of a color and kind of make the eye colors pop. For green eyes you could use a plum or a purple or a lavender and for brown eyes you could use a green, a blue, um, gold. You could even use these pinks would look pretty but blue eyes will really pop with this color. Then we're just going to use a little bit of a crease color. This is Omega. It's just, it's the same color I used for her brows and I'm just going to kind of go right into the crease and if you don't have a crease right there just create the illusion on the lid right here by just kind of creating this little art shape right here and just blend it up towards the eyebrow. And that's really all we're gonna do right there. Okay, we're gonna be using the Rimmel Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. Okay, so for this I'm just gonna have her close her eye and I'm just gonna go right along the lash line. And I usually like to start about the middle of the eye and then towards the inner corner. Okay, and then for the wing I'm just going to, I'm gonna go out and then bring it down and then I'll fill it in afterwards. Oh my gosh, that's a million times better. Lesson learned, do not use the brush that comes with the Rimmel thing because it's horrible. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm just gonna take any black eyeshadow will work and I'm just gonna place this right down on top of the waterproof liner because sometimes the gel liners or liquid liners they have a sheen or they kind of look plasticky and we don't want it to look like she has plastic eyeliner so we're just going to go right along and also it'll fix any little wobbles you may have had too. Okay, now we're just going to curl her lashes, apply mascara and then we're going to put the false lashes on and be right back. Okay, so now we're going to do like a really pretty pink on her cheeks. So you have a couple options. She has a really cool skin tone, so we're going to use a cooler pink. This is Be A Bombshell in Sweet Cheeks. And then this is Maybelline in Medium Pink, which is a little warm more coral that might be good for anybody that has more brown eyes or even more olive skin tone. So we're going to put a little bit of this right there. And just kind of, we want her cheeks to look really flushed and pink and just kind of glowy. Okay, then I'm going to take, this is the Revlon Photo Ready uh, Matte Bronzer Quad and I'm just going to kind of sweep this just right underneath the color we just put just to add a little bit of extra dimension and go up onto the temples and it's just going to kind of chisel out her cheekbones just a little more because everybody wants a little extra chisely cheekbones. Okay, now I'm going to take, I'm actually going to be using an eyeshadow. This is the same ice latte we used on her eyes. And then one of these little light brushes which will give us the lightest application. Whenever you see these brushes with the light on top, it means it's going to give you the lightest application because it doesn't really pick up that much pigment. So we're just going to take a little bit like this and I'm just going to press it right on top where we kind of just put the color. And it's just going to give a really pretty highlight that will just kind of blend in. And now we're ready to do her lip color. Okay, so for a really pretty pink, I'm going to be using Wicked from Urban Decay because I just absolutely love this color for like a pretty rose pink. And then we're just going to slightly fill them in. Make sure you really get the outer corners too. So for the lip color, we have a few different options that I'm going to put on. So I've tested like a million different colors. We decided these were too pink and too coral, but this right here is the Revlon Color Burst in Hot Pink Rose Vibrant. And then this is NARS in Roman Holiday. 
And then for a frostier color, if you want a more frosty color, this is NYX in Iris, this light color. So we might just do a little bit of Roman Holiday as a base, or you could just put the gloss kind of straight away. <laughs> Ooh, this is beautiful. This is probably crazy, like you wouldn't wear this color every day, but because it is for prom, or if you're going out, or something fun, this would be a totally fun color. Now we're going to do her hair and we'll be right back. But in the meantime, we'll show we did her nails kind of like a kind of like a glitter French tip, but we will show you how we did that too cuz we're kind of just glittery and pinky everywhere. So, you can take any pink polish, but we're going to be using Station in Of Course It I'll Call You and you're going to apply two coats. Then you're going to take any glitter polish and I'm going to be using Pink Yet Lavender from OPI. Then you're just going to take your glitter polish and you're just going to put it in the area like you're doing a French manicure. So basically just on the tips. And the tricky thing with the glitter, especially this one, is it has some larger chunks. So you just want to make sure that you kind of manipulate or push around the glitter until it's set up in a nice kind of glitter line on the tips, kind of like this. It takes a couple seconds and even if it's chunky or thicker, it's okay because you're going to put a top coat on when you're all finished. Then you're just going to finish this on all the fingers and apply a top coat and you're all done with your glittery French manicure. Then in the next tutorial I will show you how we did her updo. This video would just be way too long if I added it in also. <laughs> and we'll even show you a fun way to add some hot pink highlights that she wanted to. Shauna was already beautiful before, but we just gave extra, extra fun prom makeup. And um, we will see you in the next video. So huge hugs from my house to yours and hugs for Shauna for being my model. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! And a random fact about me for the day is I used to love sour gummy worms so much.